Hello, my name is Alan Bryce Bala, and I'm a design principal with Education Elements. I'll be walking you through some considerations to take in communicating your plan before it's ready for launch. I'd like to start by sharing a story about my wedding this past June. My partner and I decided to get married on the rooftop of our apartment building after having to cancel our Cancun destination wedding plans due to the pandemic. We had our budget so that we could secure a caterer and photographer, and we also came up with a schedule that would make sure everything flowed beautifully from start to finish. When the day came, my partner walked down the aisle, we exchanged our vows and our rings, and we heard guests share stories about how they met us and what it meant for them to witness two people coming together to sh build a shared life. But as we heard these beautiful stories, we realized that our caterer must have been downstairs trying to enter the building. Neither of us had our phones on us, but we noticed that the time we scheduled for her to arrive had already passed. We also saw our photographer struggling to find the right spots to take photos due to the way we set up our socially distanced seating chart. In that moment, it hit us that even though we had a solid plan, we never communicated any of the small details with our vendors, her maid of honor, my best man, or anyone else who could have helped. I know this sounds like a nightmare, but everything actually worked out. I share this story to highlight the importance of communicating your strategic plan in order to make sure that you prevent communication lapses from impacting your success. So what are some potential pitfalls that might surface when you fail to communicate effectively? Here's some data that reveals some of those potential effects. According to a study completed by the Project Management Institute, 56% of the portion of project budgets that deal with mitigating risk is attributed to ineffective communication. They also found that high performing organizations create formal communications plans for nearly twice as many projects as their lower performing counterparts. So having a plan for how you communicate is also a success factor. Lastly, ineffective communication led to project failure one third of the time. So I think the challenge here is clear, but what are some steps you can take to make sure you're communicating your plan effectively? You wanna be clear on four key factors to an effective communication plan, and they include your key messages and tactics, your messengers, your messaging opportunities, and your bottom line. As I go through the essential questions for each of these factors, you'll see possible responses on the right. For key messages and tactics, your essential question might be, how are we tailoring our plan's overall message to each audience? Are you using social media, email, newsletters, or a website? Where are you storing this information so that it continues to be accessible after you've made contact? For messengers, you're asking who are the best messengers for any given message and or audience? When thinking about your opportunities to actually share a message, you should ask, when might we share this message and how often should we communicate to provide our community with updates? And lastly, in thinking about the bottom line of your communication, at the end of the day, what do we hope each audience will take away from our effective communication? When you communicate effectively, you activate effective project leadership. This means that you've been able to communicate your desired vision and process effectively in order to guide and motivate team members, stakeholders, and clients. You also satisfy your community members. Effectively communicating all aspects of your plan will also mean that your community will be satisfied with the process and the results. Being transparent will help your community understand if some targets aren't met because they were always in the loop and they may even be able to help you track why some misses occurred. And this can help you ensure success moving forward. Finally, you'll witness engaged team members and a solid project culture. Communicating effectively can also help to establish a better project culture that will serve you in the planning of future initiatives, large or small. Before you launch and monitor your strategic plan, be sure to take into account the following considerations for your planning conversations. Be concise. Keep words at a minimum in your storytelling with the visuals at the forefront to avoid losing people before you have them. Define your terms. Be clear about the terms you're using and why you're using them to avoid confusion. Never lose sight of the future state and the goals you've identified in your plan. As much as possible, always tie your communications back to those goals. Also, remember that you aren't starting with a clean slate. You may already have some, if not all, of the tools at your disposal to communicate effectively. Combine these tools with any new strategies you decide to employ to maximize impact. And lastly, keep in mind how you are not only informing your community, but also inspiring and modeling action. To close out, I'd like to leave you with this question. What impact do you wish effective communication will have on your community and the success of your plan? Mm -hmm.